It's nice. It's uh, much more crunchy. You know what I mean? It's uh, definitely matured. Um, we're getting into our own grooves individually, and uh, we're pumping out some really, really nice songs that I know we're gonna love playing live, and uh, hopefully other people like them too. And um, yeah, definitely. Like you have to uh, evolve, right? We've been sitting on these songs for a little bit too, and just kind of uh, reworking them here and there. And uh, so finally, we got back in the studio and um, coming out great. So. I think the songs, as like the old EP, the songs are cool, but I think these songs blow them away. Like just, you know, we played those songs for years and you get old of them, like Downtown and or Reading Who and all, like I can't stand playing those anymore. I'm glad we're starting to get new stuff so we can kick those out of the set and just get the new things rolling. Dude, this new shit, honest to God, is going to kick ass, I think. Um, the, the old stuff, the No Four Play EP, I think was uh, I don't want to say amateur. But it was a starting, it was a starting grounds. You know what I mean? It was a lot more. Um, it's called No Four Play because the way it was is it was straightforward and it's just hitting you right away. And there's a bunch of hooks, some potential singles and shit, some good tunes on there. But I think these songs now are a lot more thought out, and there's a lot more effort put into it, a lot more mature sounding, still as appealing, I think, I hope. But. Um, yeah, I think it's just a lot more mature, and uh, I hope it hits, man. <laughs> well, tentatively, we like to call it next following. Uh, <laughs> no standards. <laughs> Just to go like EP, no foreplay, and the album called No Standards. Kind of keep that theme of, well, it's just Vince's personal life of, you know, going out, getting wasted, and just finding these ugly chicks. Whew, as far as that goes, the new album, we, I have no idea. I threw out the suggestion No Standards to go after No Foreplay. If I got to name the album right now, I would call it uh, Robin Leach. Why? Robin Leach. I think that Robin Leach was the poster boy for uh, uh, just fame and being rich. And he was definitely, uh, guy was a character. Uh, we're equally, um, we equally share those types of characteristics. We're not uh, filthy rich. I think that we, um, you know, we, we kind of aim to be. Maybe someday, hopefully. And uh, I think Rob Leach is a great name. I don't know if it's gonna fly though, but we'll see. We'll see. You just call it No Standards Night, and he's all over that. And the rest of the band are just looking at him like, "Are you kidding me?" So it's kind of named after Vince's life. Think he'll lie to me about it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We got asked to go on tour by a band in Oakville and across Canada. I think it's something that we can't pass up. We know some of the shows are going to be shit. There's going to be four or five people there. But, you know, some small towns might have 150 people. So I don't think it can hurt us in any way. It can only get our name out there. So we're going on this tour. It starts November 3rd tentatively. A lot of the shit isn't finalized yet, which is cool, whatever. But uh, we're going up towards Quebec at first. And we're hitting a bunch of cities in between like London, Windsor and all this other shit. And then from there we're going to the East Coast as far as Nova Scotia, which is going to be sick. I can't wait to see the East. I heard it's awesome. Especially Halifax. It's going to be awesome. Um, and then from East we work our way all the way to Vancouver, which I'm also pumped about. Um, and then we just hit a whole bunch of cities in between. And then we work our way back here, man. I'm so pumped about it. It'll be a great experience because uh, we all say we want to do this forever. And this will be a test. You know, we're out for a month. Can we do it? Will we hate each other? Will we, you know, get STDs <laughs> from chicks that are no standards? <laughs> Will we, I don't know, get too drunk and jump off cliff and Winnipeg, who knows, but it's just it's just a test that we have to we have to do. 
No, I, I'm looking forward to it if it happens. You know, it's it'd be cool. 44 shows in 48 days across Canada. Like the farthest I've been was Ottawa, and really like it's gonna be uh, hell. But can't wait. Uh, I think that. Well, I I just you know what the tour I think is gonna be a great opportunity for us to get out there and see um, see how we're gonna like being on the road. Um, how we're gonna. Um, adapt to different different situations we've never really had to uh, by playing like you know uh, local bars around Hamilton. Um, I'm so completely excited to go. That I'm I'm just really I, like I feel myself. I'm really ready to go, and I think the other guys are too. And uh, it's just gonna be a great experience. I've never uh, really traveled out that way, um, like all across Canada. It's gonna be awesome. We got asked on this tour. The one thing was, will people go? Will they want to, you know, try and get a leave absence from the job? Will they quit if they have to? Um, I would quit my job. Luckily, I have time off that I can go. Um, we know we won't make money on this tour. Uh, making money right now isn't an issue whatsoever. We just need to get our name out there. We need to know. We need to get people across Canada first to like us. Um, I think other members of the band have it harder than me in sacrifice that they'll have to make money-wise. Um, yeah, I think that I'm losing the security of having um, a normal nine-to-five day job. Um, I was working for the steel company, and excuse me, the. Uh, Money was always there, and uh, so now I'm going to give that up. I think a uh, couple, couple personal relationships too. You know, they get the axe because it's uh, this band has come to the top of the priority list, and it's time to go. And uh, yeah, just giving up the the comforts of home, you know, and the comforts of uh, knowing where you're going to sleep, you know, every night. And uh, I'm in university, third year political science, so. Uh being that it's November 4th to December 19th, 21st, those are the relative dates. Then uh, it's right in the middle of like crunch time, exam time. So I'm just trying to work out with my teachers, maybe write my exams in a couple days. So I might have to fly home from where we are to write exams and then fly back out. But that's, uh, that's pretty much the biggest sacrifice. Yeah, well the job my boss was just pretty much, when are you coming back and you know, when do you want to come back to work? So he's pretty cool about that. And I guess it kind of works out good because now I'll actually have time to do reading. Like driving 13 hours from Ramuski to wherever, <laughs> I'll just have uh, lots of time to read. It, it'll just be fun going across Canada playing a show every night. Just doing something you love, 